Cheers. Okay, continuing the series on spiritual veganism. This next verse from Proverbs is one which I absolutely love. I'm going to read it now, the King James Version. Proverbs 15, verse 17. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stalled ox and hatred therewith. It's better that you have a vegetarian meal where there is love than a fattened, stalled ox which, uh, has, which harbors hate. Now, I'm really going to go vegan right now and just say that I believe in the idea of eating meat, and maybe I mentioned it in a previous video, but I believe that eating meat nowadays with, um, with slaughterhouses and with agricultural farming and that whole thing, the idea of taking the life of a living thing for food is a natural thing. But there's a difference. It wasn't always so industrial. It used to be that you raised the animal, you lived with it, you, you, you fed it, all right? You had a relationship with it. And then when it was its time, then you slaughtered it, usually on your own, right? Or you went out and hunted. Again, something that has to do with mm, sometimes survival and sometimes nourishment, uh, not necessarily to do with survival, but it was more personal. This is what I'm trying to get at. This is partly why veganism is so important to me. I believe that the meat-eating, most of the meat-eating conducted in the modern world, let's say, most of it is so impersonal, I can't wrap my head around it. This dinner of herbs made with love is better than having the fattened ox made with hate. And you cannot deny this, okay? People who work in slaughterhouses don't like animals, or they wouldn't be there. The point I'm trying to make is that veganism is embracing life. This is part of why I took it onto myself when I took my vow. And this is part of why I feel verses like this from Proverbs are so important. Because they direct you at the thing which is more important than that which you may perceive. Sure, the Torah makes a big deal of animal sacrifices, the Bible makes a big deal of animal sacrifices, but when you come right down to it, God's will, as it's manifested through the Torah, through Genesis, through the Bible, has always been embracing life, first and foremost. You kill if you have to, you take out nations if you have to, but originally, initially, we are meant to sanctify life and embrace life. I think I'll do just one or two of these tomorrow and the next day, and then we'll move on to bigger and better things. Let's have a wonderful week.